was the son of a pizza man. Hey guys, welcome to Son of a Pizza Man. My name is Enzo, and today we're making a pumpkin spice pizza. Yes, I said pumpkin spice pizza. So you typically associate pumpkin spice with sweet things like coffee and desserts and even cereal. But uh, I thought I would try a savory, going the savory route. And I think what I've, what I've come up with is going to be delicious because it's got pumpkin puree, sausage, caramelized onions. It's going to be so good. We even put some pumpkin spice in the pizza dough, so it's got that little extra layer of spiciness. So I have my pumpkin dough stretched out, and now we're ready to add our toppings. The first thing we're going to add is the star of the show. Uh, this is pumpkin puree, and it's got a little bit of ricotta mix into it to kind of give it that more like savoriness to it. So I'm just gonna spread a layer and this is gonna act as the sauce. The next thing I'm gonna add is some caramelized onions. Uh, all you need to do is slice some onions really thin in a, in a saute pan and then let them sit on low heat with some olive oil and then they'll eventually break down and kind of caramelize. So uh, I thought this one. How do you feel about pumpkin spice in general? My love. Um, it's fine. I think uh, I think like the pumpkin spice like phenomenon. Phenom. Oh my god. <laughs> Calling it a phenomenon already, I think is like super stupid. Uh, I mean like pumpkin pumpkin flavored stuff is not bad, and pumpkin spice stuff is also not bad. Pumpkin spice lattes are good, and pumpkin spice. Uh, I don't know. I come across things that are great. I just think like the amount of stuff, it feels very bandwagony. So it, and I immediately pucker at that kind of shit. So. Well, luckily it's only uh, about a month's worth of yeah stuff. Like, no, I feel but, like I feel like September first through mid October. Yes, that's true. So a month and a half. That's true, but um, the but like pumpkin spice season ushers in the rest of like the holiday season which continues on through like february so with all these things so, yes i heard something Amen. let's give it another another minute and then a half oh god um yeah so i'm excited i think i think um you like pumpkin pumpkin Spunkin spice? I, like, I love spunkin spice. Spunkin spice. Spunkin spice. I do get very excited when Starbucks announces their pumpkin spice lattes. Um, this was about, this was at the beginning of September, or maybe it, it was actually maybe the end of August that they started offering them again. You know what I say, you know what I say in every day when that happens? Meh. Um, I, care. I think last year I got it on the first day. This year I missed it and I got it on the second day. So. Okay, and right there, what difference does that make? It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't, it doesn't make a difference. It just makes me basic. That's what that is. I mean, basic is as basic does. Yep. You little ugg boot. Yep. All right, I think the pizza's done. So I'm going to take it out. Uh-huh. We're going to see what happens. Oh. It looks very, it's very fall. Yeah. To me. These are very fall colors. It smells like, uh, it, sm it smells like, uh, Thanksgiving. It smells, it smells like pumpkin spice, right? Yes, yeah, absolutely. But it definitely smells like Thanksgiving. There's like a mix of like, sick. All right, let's get into this. Look, it's spilling. Yep. I forgot to check the bottom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not great. It's 
probably could have could have uh, stayed in the oven for. I don't know. That top looks pretty good. Few more minutes. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not crazy about the, the crust. Okay. For the dough. So there's pumpkin spice in the dough. I added some pumpkin spice in there. I see. Um, so I don't know if that messed up the. I don't think so. Dough? I don't know, that's weird. It just doesn't seem as like. poofy and risen. Poofy and like. good. I don't know. I don't know. No. Um, it's, it's, um, it's got like a, it's like if you were to put, I mean, pumpkin is a squash. So it's like if you were to put squash on pizza. It's very gordy. It's very gordy. Um, I mean, I'm getting the, I'm getting the pumpkin, obviously. It tastes like there's fall. Pumpkin, there's ricotta in the pumpkin too. Yeah. Um, to make it like meatier. I don't but, think I, I don't think I love the pumpkin. Yeah, it's like it tastes too much. It, it that same like melony gourd sort of taste is like not my favorite. But it's not bad at all. It's it's fine. I just think that the I think that that part of it in particular is a little. It's a little. It's a little funky with the flavor com combination. Like I think like what lingers on my palate is like the. I don't know the pumpkin meat, uh, the pump like pumpkin flavor, and not pumpkin spice flavor, because I can definitely I feel like the pumpkin spice I get more on the nose. Um, it also might be the onions too, which I also don't really love onions on pizza either. See, I do. I don't. So, I think I onions not, on pizza. I, did not get a bite of I think onions, onions on pizza are generally like pretty overpowering, and general. And although these are good because they're caramelized, but like the texture is funny. From on, on a lot of on a lot of them, but yeah, not my favorite. Sorry. Hello. Yeah, but it's not. I mean, it's like a two out of it's like a two out of five. For so me. we're bringing back messy napkins. So I've decided we're bringing it back. Okay. We're gonna start using messy napkins. Sounds again. great. So out of five messy napkins, I already told you two. Two messy napkins. Yeah. Sorry. Wow. wow. Sorry. Um, I'm giving you that two because technically it's a totally fine pizza. But flavor-wise, it is it is uh, not my favorite. Maybe a little too maybe a little too strange. It's not gross, but I don't love it. I think I think if it was crispier, if the if the crust was crispier, and there was, I think that has that has a lot to do with it because it's like soft on soft. So I think mm -hmm. if you have a, like a crispier a crispier crust with the soft pumpkin and puree. Um, I feel like you do a with, lot with of caramelized, salt. caramelized onions. I love caramelized onions. Well, and now it's fall. It's like even more reason to use caramelized onions. I guess. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm gonna give it a three. Okay. Just because I just because because I made it because I made it and uh, yeah, I'm not gonna give it a five. I'm gonna give it three messy napkins because I think there's definitely room for improvement. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I thought that I thought adding the sausage would maybe like elevate it a little bit or make it more more than just like pumpkin on a pizza. Um, I was just trying to bring like a little more like something to it. It's spicy sausage too. So you have the spicy sausage, you have the pumpkin spice in the dough. Um, I think there's too many things. I don't. I don't. Pumpkin spice pizza. Uh, it's definitely something that can be done, and I would definitely. I'll, I'll try it again. I've got plenty of pumpkin left over. Got yeah. Plenty of dough left over. Yeah. So maybe I'll try it again, and uh, maybe I'll post it on uh, Instagram or Facebook as like a story or something. But I. Uh, yeah. So I would. I would try it. I challenge you to try making a pumpkin spice pizza. Yeah, don't give up on your dreams. Just don't no. do this. I don't know if it's my dream, but um, I don't know. I just like pumpkin spice, and I thought it'd be fun to make a pumpkin spice pizza. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, it wasn't a, a savory pumpkin spice. A savory, pizza. very yes. specific. Uh, unfortunately, it wasn't as successful as I thought it would be. But nah. you know, that's, it happens. That's, that's pizza. The pizza life. The homemade pizza maker life. Uh huh. 
it's the cross I have to bear. Uh huh. Or uh, it's like not a cross. It's more of a. It's more like a rest. It's more of a, a, a pizza peel. Yeah. It's like a giant pizza peel. It's the peel you have to bear. Yeah. I like the crust you have to bear though. I think that's a. Yeah. I think that's a funnier play on words. Anyway, on that note, uh, thanks guys for watching as always. If you haven't already, please remember to subscribe. Whoa! Uh, thanks guys for watching, and until next time. Smell you later. Ciao for now. The only one who could ever need me was the son of a pizza man. The only boy who could ever.